Hello and welcome to the most efficient Abby Mahler guide on YouTube. I will be walking you through step by step on how to make a fresh Abby Mahler pure with every quest completed necessary to unlock the most efficient training methods, the fastest and least skilling possible. So let's get started. So before we move into account creation, you will want to know every quest guide for every single quest necessary for making an Abby Mahler that I mention in this guide will be linked below in order. I have carefully calculated and planned each quest and its position in the lineup to make it as fast as possible with very little skilling. If you care to take the time on a main account, on screen is every single item for all skilling and quest requirements I will mention. What I did before this is bought all of the items on my main and transferred it over to my fresh account right off Tutorial Island. Additionally, when starting an Abbey Mauler, uh, you will want to know that all quests that I do uh, that require combat, I mainly use magic. Uh, but if you follow the methods I use in my quest guides, all will work out. First the do's and don'ts. Here are some basic do's and don'ts of an Abbey Mauler. Don't train ranged with actual ranging. Always use a cannon and always be on a slayer task. You are very limited to the range levels you can achieve. Uh, if you are staying at 60 strength, the max level you can get is 40 range. Don't teleport with runes. Always use tabs. Unnecessary magic experience is pointless. Do make sure to always check the combat style you are in when using a new weapon. When I made my first Abbey Mauler, within two seconds of completing the account, I ruined the account. Here's a clip. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because. Yes. Literally extremely depressing. Um, now granted, you can make an Abbey Mauler with 5 attack and 7 attack, and there's different types of Abbey Maulers, but, but I personally appreciate the 1 attack, 60 strength Abbey Mauler. There's just something behind it. The simplicity is wonderful. Do have a main to fund the account. This account can get somewhat pricey if you want it to be super efficient and if you want to be able to make it within less than two days played time you will need approximately 10 to 20 mil extra funds in order to make this account now let's move into account creation upon account creation the very first quest you will want to do is the observatory quest the only reason is this is a mandatory quest due to gaining five kudos for the museum later for the bon voyage quest however the reason for urgency is this quest awards a random reward and that reward can be attack or defense among many other random rewards if you happen and to be unfortunate to get one of these rewards, you will have to restart your account because you will no longer be a pure. Aww. Doing this quest is one of the most insufficient ways in this guide, and the only thing you have to do prior to it is train to 10 crafting. After observatory quest, you want to complete Gertrude's cat, cook's assistant, another cook's quest, goblin, diplomacy, rune mysteries, imp catcher, witch's potion, witch's house, plague city. You will need no skilling up to this point and make sure to use magic during witch's house because it can be quite uh, difficult at a low level. After plague city, get 31 agility. Continue with biohazard, hazeel cult, and knight's sword next travel to varak and achieve 30 fire making also if you can give a bone to the dog if you see him around and also mine iron rocks in the southeast of varak till 17 mining you can also chop a log at the lumber yard teleport with aubrey and get five fletching the next quest will be the lost tribe sea slug fishing competition tribal totem and bar crawl during the bar crawl finish ardoin easy achievement combat area and the hunter shop by a stew from the bartender in sears village 
Next, you'll want to complete Horror from the Deep, Death to Dorgishin, Dwarf Cannon. Next, you will want to cannon your range to 30 by only doing Slayer and get 30 cooking. After that, continue questing with Chompy Bird, Merlin's Crystal, Druidic Ritual, and Jungle Potion. After Jungle Potion, continue skilling with 20 crafting, 12 herb lore, and 30 smithing. Next, you will want to do the dig site quest, Shiloh Village, One Small Favor, Demon Slayer, and Bone Voyage. Before completing Bone Voyage quest, you will need to have sailed to the Great Karend at least once, and you need 100 kudos in the museum. There's a link in the description on how to achieve your kudos that you've acquired during all of this questing. It is important to get 28 construction after Bone Voyage so you can fix up Fossil Island. After you fix up Fossil Island, this should get you 30 construction and make sure you have 30 construction. After this, continue questing. Do the Golem and Shadow of the Storm. Shadow of the Storm is the most difficult quest you will do during this whole entire grind. It took me more than four hours to complete. After Shadow of the Storm, you will want to move your house to Relica, and then you will partially want to complete Mountain Daughter in order to get the bear head. Do not fully complete this quest because at the end of it, it gives you 1000 attack and prayer experience. By this time, you should easily be able to achieve the rest of your Varrock Easy Diaries to acquire your Varrock Armor 1 and then feel free to travel to Bon Voyage to continue training on Ammonite Crabs until 60 strength. After your quest grind is the only time you will actually effectively train your strength, so you won't need this entire setup until you're completely done, and you won't even be able to achieve it until you're completely done. I will walk through each individual item and then I'll explain the benefits of them afterwards. You're going to want a Bear Head, an Ardoin Cloak 1, an Amulet of Fury, Varrock Armor 1, Fremnic Kilt, Spiked Manacles, Regen Bracelet, Brimstone Ring, Swift Blade, and an Unholy Book. The Bear Head is not essential or not necessary for training. It is essential for PKing because it gives you the most defensive bonuses of any head slot item, plus quite a bit of magic defense bonus. The next you will want for training and for PKing is an Ardoin Cloak 1. Eventually you can move to a Fire Cape, but that takes a lot longer. It's really difficult to achieve a Fire Cape on a level 60 strength Abby Mauler. Next is the Swift Blade. I prefer the Swift Blade, although the price when I bought it was 10 mil, and that's a huge waste of money. The Ham Joint also works, but the Swift Blade cosmetically fits with the outfit and then also has the only stab option for a fast hitting weapon like itself which complements the Ardoin cloak stab bonus that it offers. Uh, next, Varrock Armor 1 is equivalent to a steel plate body that you can wear at one defense. Next, the Unholy Book is all-rounded, a better book than really anything else because it gives you plus 8 in all of your attack bonuses. The Fremnic Kilt offers a plus 1 strength bonus at 1 defense. The Spiked Manacles does the same, except this one gives you plus 4 strength bonus at 1 defense. The Regen Bracelet, although you would not want to use this for PKing because it is expensive, it is better than the Mithril Gloves, and you do already have the requirements to achieve Mithril Gloves by questing through Recipe for Disaster. Next is the Brimstone Ring. It gives you plus 4 in all of your attack bonuses and plus 6 in magic bonus. The benefit of this is that you do not need to change ring styles as you continue questing and doing slayer with magic and ranged and then training with melee. When you move to PKing, you will eventually want to work your way up to having an imbued berserker ring, but the brimstone ring is a cheap alternative and very very effective and efficient for training an Abby Mauler. So the benefit of training on Fossil Island is when you're fighting Ammonite Crabs, you have an opportunity to get fossils. These fossils can be used on the bench that you have repaired previously, and you will identify the fossils. These fossils can then be returned to the museum and given you an XP reward lamp shown here. 
Once you have your identified fossils, you will want to walk down the stairs and down the other set of stairs at the Varrock Museum. And in here, you can open your fossil storage. You can store your fossils here, but then also you can go to these displays and reconstruct the fossils by using five fossils per display. Doing so rewards you an experience lamp. Every experience lamp that you achieve during this Abimaler creation, you will always want to use on your Slayer. Once you have all of these tasks completed, make your way north of Fossil Island and enjoy the final bit of AFK training until 60 strength. After this, once you hit around 74 strength, you will be 40 combat, and then you can move to gaining the rest of your Slayer levels to 55 for the Slayer Staff, which then becomes the most effective and efficient way to train your strength for the remainder of your levels. Once you hit, and the reason for hitting 40 combat, is because you will be able to use Vanica the Slayer Master and start gaining Slayer points and get better tasks in general. Once you get to 60 strength, feel free to buy an Abimol and try your hand at some PvP. Thank you so much for watching this guide. Have a great day.